Hello crafters and welcome to season three of P2P Craft Presents brought to you by From Picture to Page and Beyond Paper Craft Shows. I'm your host, Michelle Brown, creative director from Picture to Page, which is our scrapbooking, mixed media art and paper crafts community. Now, P2P Craft presents a whole heap of demonstrations from our retailers and some guest artists. So for all the details of season three, plus catch up on our season one and season two videos, head over to our website from picture to page and beyond.com.au. We can get all the links to our retailers, see the products, catch up on all the discount codes, and then go back and revisit those videos as well so you can get all the best out of them. And while you're over there, make sure you're on our email list. At the end of the week, we send out all the links to the videos. Of course, let you know who's coming up next week. And if there are any changes, that is the absolute best place to get all the information. Now, whether you're watching here live on Facebook or watching a replay on Facebook or over at YouTube, we would love to know that you're there. So pop in the comments, make sure you say hi and let us know where you're from. Now, if you've got any questions due today as well, pop them in the comments as well and Mary and I will do our very best to get to them. Now, today, Peter P. Craft presents Mary from Craft Zone. Hello, Mary. Hello, Michelle. Good afternoon, everyone. It's good. Are you keeping warm today? Yes, I am. I'm indoors. Everything is locked, so we're fine. And your craft. It is a perfect day for crafting, isn't it? It is. We've got some beautiful cards to show today and new techniques. Mm -hmm. And I like to. Some of the customers were asking on machines, so I've got a couple of machines to do a very quick demo. Yeah, as excellent. well. Oh, that's good because I think a lot of us that have been doing it for a while kind of forget that die cutting can be a bit complicated for some people. Yes, and these machines are easy, especially the Blue Nelly one, the Pro. I really love it. I've had it for a while now and it's very easy to turn. Oh, good. Very nice. Because, yeah, that's what I really love about your demonstrations is that when you first look at a card, it looks so complex. But when you step us through, it really does make it so simple. But you do need to understand that die cutting process to make sense of it. It's easy. I mean, God, I haven't made cards until the first live show, remember? Mm -hmm. And now I'm pretty good cool. it's easy. And, yeah, I've been taught by very, very good teachers. Yeah. So thank you. Excellent. Cheryl and Robin and Jeanette. <laughs> Yeah, Cheryl and Jeanette are a great part of the Craft Zone team, most definitely. Excellent. Well, let's get on to it. We'll let you get your camera ready and we'll get started. Yeah. Okay, so hello, Faye. Hello, Lorraine. Hi, Emma. Hi, Diane. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Ruby. I'm so pleased to have you all here today. So like we said, Mary's going to share a little bit about die cutting as well. For those of you that are just getting started, it'll give you a little bit of an understanding of that process, as well as a couple of cards. So it looks like Mary's ready to go. So I'll hand over. Okay, Mary, take it away. Thank you, Michelle. Um, I would like to use mainly tatted lace dies today incarnation crafts which are like sisters of tatted lace uh, we are the largest distributors outside the uk on these beautiful dies and they have magazines monthly so today i'm using a die out of one of their magazine issue number 69 we're now up to issue 80 like i said they're out monthly and they're beautiful dies and i'll show you some of them so this is out of the magazine, um, which is this guy here. Um, I'll bring out the magazine. Not enough space. This is the magazine. It's issue number six nine. You get a die. Lately, you get a die in a stand, and it gives you a lot of ideas how to play. Step by step instructions, no ads, and you keep going. Then, in the middle, you get um, printouts you can download up to five different colors with matching backgrounds to finish your card. There's five colors here. I don't know if you can see it. Yes, no, we can see the different colors, they're beautiful. There's five colors. I didn't want to print everything, but there's at least five colors with. About 18 pages on every die. And then in the middle pages, you get this, you get a lot of other papers. And then there's templates on how to play. When you're doing other projects as well. And like I said, 
definitely no ads in these magazines. There's a lovely template to do this other box, photo box they call it. And we have quite a few magazines in stock. So oh, I thought I'll show And Mary, you. how often do the tattered lace magazines come out? Monthly. They are monthly. Mm -hmm. So they've been going for at least 80 months because we are pretty sure 80. Right. You can go on our website under tattered lace um, header and you'll see all the magazines there. Some are on sale because they're a bit old, the issues um, the, that we've had for a while. So, and it's free postage. So this is one card I've made with the die. And this is a different card. And I'm sure in the magazine there's at least three pages that it shows you other techniques as well. And again, um, Stephanie that designs for Tatted Lace, she's also got her own, another business now called Carnation Crafts. So I've used some of her latest um, dyes. I call them vintage ladies. It's Lily and Rose and some background papers because Tatted Lace gives you a lot of downloads as well in backgrounds. So these are the dies on that card as well. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be making today. Oh, excellent. Very, very um, and, I'll, you know, to make the cards, I've used the Nelly die as the outline. But we'll go on the dies later. Mm -hmm. If I use the cards, I'll show you the dies. Um, I know Jeanette from uh, New Zealand wanted to know how the machines work, mm -hmm. and some of the other ladies I got messages during the week. So I will show you um, just a quick way of how these machines work. I'll have to stand up. Um, this is the Nelly Pro. The handle comes out or folds up like this. Oh, that's clever. Yeah, it opens up. Both ends, like so, you can do. You get two plates, a clear plate. You can see the scratches. Mm -hmm. The base plate, and the knob here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh huh. Yes, we it's, can see that. It's got eighteen or nineteen adjustable things. So oh. if you move that, the rollers inside in here, they move. So some dies need a metal sheen. Some embossing folders are thicker than others, or the dye is the same, depends on the brand. So we find it hard to register every time we cut. So with this machine, and it's got this adjustable thing, so you can adjust. Also, it, it, I call it power steering, because <laughs> uh, I learned driving a car that wasn't power steering, and it was really hard to turn. Yeah. So this one, it's got two gears on each end, not one, like most of the machines out there. This is a, one of the machines, I, I think it's the only machine that I'm aware of, that it's got two gears on each end, so it's very, very easy to turn. Um, no, put this away. So no, that's really great. So rather than having to worry about your plate thicknesses, you can actually adjust the machine to suit any die or embossing folder. Yes, and this one is the other Nelly one. I put everything there so I save space, but that would have been a good idea. Okay. This one is the normal Nelly one. If they're not on our website. See, it comes out. It's got nice suction. The other one, you don't need it because it's already there. Mm -hmm. This one, all right? See, when you turn it, uh -huh. it really it's steady on the thing. So yeah, it helps secure it to the table. Yeah, it does. Oh, I can't see what I'm doing here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's secure there. Okay, you get the adjustable. I'll have to lift that. So you get the rollers as well. Mm -hmm. The 18 adjustable things as you roll. But the knob here is on that side. You move it by yourself. And again, you get the plates. And I forgot to mention, you also get a free die. And a rubber mat. Oh, excellent. Yeah, and obviously you get instruction book. Um, to instruct, you know, one each one comes with their instructions in a few languages, mm -hmm. including English. Because this machine 
I'm mainly sold in Netherlands. Right. So that's it. So you just, right? Then the handle, I didn't want to put the handle in. You know, you just sort of grind it. Mm -hmm. And that's, well, now it's. <laughs> now it's very stuck. <laughs> yeah. So I've got to move it. Yeah. Okay. It's hard. Okay. So I'll put this away and I'll try the. Other one. Okay, I need to turn this around so I can. I'm a right hand, so it needs to face me. And these are the two plates and the rubber mat. Now, first I want to show you. This is cutting. How to emboss, like that's. The embossing folder. So when you put it in there, and you always, oops, doesn't break. I got to open up the rollers because it's sitting on very low because I was cutting it. Obviously, in between, you only need the two, and you open up. See, it goes easy. Wow, it does. I don't know if you can see that lady. Mm -hmm. So that's very, very easy. And I'll go through. I have to come back because I don't have enough space <laughs> to go there. Okay. It, it went through very, very easy. And I don't know what impression it was. That was sitting on number, I'm going to put my glasses on, on number 17. But it's very. Oh, lovely. Yep. So if I move it over and I go, I don't know, maybe number 13. Like I said, it's got 18. Now I'm going with number 14. It's, it's still very easy. Look. Look, I'm not touching anything. Yeah. So easy. Just two fingers. Because mm. that can certainly be the, the hard thing with some machines when that gets too thick. No, it, you can adjust it. Mm. It's A4. Okay. Um, can you see the difference? Yeah. Yep. The lighter and the harder. Mm -hmm. you, this way you can even emboss your dies. Mm. Like you don't put it on number five for cutting. You put it on number seven. Right. And you'll get the impression only. Oh, okay. All right. Um, in the other machines, it's hard because you only got cutting or embossing, one or the other. So that's that. Now, if we want to cut, like I said, cut it lays, you get download. So I've downloaded the color that I'm going to play today. Um, here. I showed you before how many, it comes up in six. So what I'll do is put it down. Can you see it? You mm -hmm. register? We can see that. All right. And because I want to cut it all out, this will leave it on like I just did before. I've cut it earlier to show you. It just leaves it on. Oh, lovely. But now I want to cut it as well. So you put that with it. Mm -hmm. So I'll, on the clear plate, you only cut on the clear plate. <laughs> so. So we can't quite see. You might just need to hold it up as you layer it up just to fully explain how it cuts. Yeah. Okay. So I've... So you just register, put it down. Mm -hmm. I always cut the die down. Some people want it up. But I want to see yeah. that it registers. So there. My trusty... Sticky notes. Ah, oh, posting note. I haven't seen that method before. Very good. Um, there's oh, we sell lots of things, but I just have that in front of me now. So yeah. you put the non-stick tape as well. So I just put that so I don't lose it. Mm -hmm. So it registers well because I've got the two dice together. Mm -hmm. Now I have to put this down to the roller. Probably number five. See how easy it's running? Yes. Now, all right, that's cutting the paper, huh? I didn't break anything. Like the first time I used the machine, I thought, oh, what have I done? <laughs> okay, so it just 
Just go forward. There should have enough space. Let's see what we've done. Magic. So really, look at this. Mm -hmm. Sticky out. See that's cut? Yeah, let's cut the outside. Yep. And that's the inside. Ah. Film. Yep. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, and now you push out the rest mm. with that double end tool. Mm -hmm. So that's what you do. And you make a nice mess. Oh, excellent. Oh, that's great. I think that's really demonstrated how the dies work. So you just use the dies. This is the one I did earlier and I didn't use. Now if you want to cut it, you just put it on top. Oops, down. Yeah, you can do it in two stages. Yeah, you can do it in two stages or one. I, you know, sometimes as you get more experience, you do two. Put them at the same time and it's done. So that's how this works. You can emboss, you can cut, and it's A4. And it's easy. You get two sets of dies. The rubber mat, the cutting plate, the base plate instructions. Mm -hmm. And you fold it up and you go. And it weighs seven kilos with the plates. Right. That's why um, the postage, for anybody interested, you're looking from $20 up to, I don't know, $40 Australia-wide. Right. We use it. So whatever the cost will be, uh, to us, that's what we charge the customer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's available on your website, but postage will be extra. Yes, I have to activate them because of the we offer free postage, and I'm not very good with technology. I'm waiting on Sally to um, do something about that part of the company in tools and machines. Mm -hmm. uh, she's been busy. She's um, trying, but anyway, I have to keep annoying her. Okay, see, that's how I just cut it out. Yeah. That's the dies. Um, so, oh, I've got some other things to show you. Okay, excellent. It's like show and tell. Yes, it is. Uh, the cuts won't take long, ladies, so hang in there. These are the two dies I'm using on my vintage. Uh -huh. All right, they come with the downloads. Right, you print them, you print up to five different colors. If you buy the dies, I will email you the pictures. Uh -huh. All right, and you can see extra pieces so you can 3D them and give them that extra dimension. Um, also, the dies, I put them out of the packet because I use them. It, you can get the silhouette as well. Oh, with wow. This is the extra piece that you can do the head and the arm. And then you can also do a different silhouette. I only cut the die. Mm -hmm. So there is, um, that's all I've cut. Mm -hmm. Right? So it cuts this one. Yeah. So that's what I've used. I didn't want to go too much, but everybody else, you can use it on their own um, or download the colors. Mm -hmm. All their carnation crafts by Stephanie, and it's on our website under carnation crafts, mm -hmm. not under chatted lines. Yep, and we'll have the links on the from picture to page website as well directly to those dies. Now, thing of um, got the numbers that I'm using. Yep. As well. We've got those. So, and to match everything perfect, because I'm hopeless. Even if I have nesting dies, I can't stick it straight. So we have what we call the border ruler. A border ruler? Ah. Yes. Genetic beautiful demonstrations at the last um, picture to page show, mm -hmm. but we haven't had any since. So I've got some stock and I will show you how we use them to do their matching. Yeah. Mary, could you just put the, the white piece of paper behind it so we can see the detail? Just since it's see-through, it's a bit hard to see. Um, is that... Yeah, so it's got, got lines on it. Excellent. It's got four different mm -hmm. um, sizes. It's got a five mil right. and a three mil. 
a two and a half and a three and a half meal. Okay, excellent. And I've got some samples to do in a minute and I will show everybody them. Uh, it's good for a lot of people have already got it, but I thought I'll show you because I wasn't going to die cut rectangles and squares mm. to make this card. It will take you all day. <laughs> so it, you do it in no time in any shape. You don't need to have uh, rectangles, squares, or triangles, really, if you have this ruler. Okay. It's got a metal thing there, and you can go as long as this, mm. or you can keep it longer. Yeah. All right. So you save a lot of money. I mean, maybe I'm talking you out of buying nesting dies, but it's to help. Yeah. Okay. So these are that one, and then the tarot lace again. Like I said, these two cards, which I use at Nelly's hearts, little hearts embossing folder that I just showed you before, and just the magazine issue 69 that I showed you. Here. So move them out. We don't need the dice anymore. And the downloads. So I can show you some other new products that I've had. On this here, I've used Warm Wishes. And most of the dies come with words as well. So this is another die issue number 70, mm -hmm. the magazine. And I've used that word out of there. Warm wishes. It's got pumpkins in autumn, so yeah. that's another tailor lace. That's the latest magazine, number 80. That's the die and a mm -hmm. stamp that comes with it. And again, downloads, ideas, and we have stock. That only came a couple of weeks ago. Oh, excellent. I love how it has really detailed instructions too. And no ads. It's step by step. It's like following a cookbook. Yeah. Another one that's been popular. It's the number seventy nine. It's got a fairy and a stand. Oh, that is pretty. Yeah. So you can see how you can play. Nancy is the magazine editor. Uh -huh. She works with Stephanie. Um, lovely lady. We've met her with Cheryl at a few shows uh, when we travel. So yeah, it just shows you. Lots of ideas. Mm. And I've printed a different colour so you can see the colours that you get. Yeah, and then, that it comes in different colours because then you've got a bit of variety. Exactly. And every colour comes with a matching background. Wow. See, that's a bit mystical with the fairy there. Um, and then, again, lots of other papers to deal with other things. All right? And other ways. Um so enough about the magazines. I can go all day. Now, another Carnation Crafts, Pepper and Lacey. It's a die with Pepper and Lacey, like the oh, horse. Oh, two the horses. Crafts. Excellent. There's a download. So you match it over and then you 3D as well. So that's again on our website. A new one by Tadit Lace is the fortunate one. Jeanette was saying the other day, reminds her of Alison in Wonderland. The die is bigger than what you see there. The dimensions are on our webpage. And the, again, there's a few different colors in downloads. I like this one. Oh, wow. Oh, you can I mean, always uh, use a tree. Yes. Um, you can I've cut it, look how big it is. Yeah. And then you can break it and make it bigger. Mm -hmm. Like got a customer in Geelong, Jackie, she does amazing things. She will cut it and make it a big tree like a forest. Yeah. And oh, small. Lovely. Yep. She breaks it up. And again, there's a download for the tree if you want to make it colourful. Uh -huh. One that I really wanted to play with today, but then I ran out of time <laughs> is a staircase. A staircase? Or staircase. <gasps> All right. There's a download. If you go on our webpage, I have a few cards showing next to the die what you can do. All right. So I've got this. There's a staircase there. Mm -hmm. All right. Then you've got the Gothic windows or yeah. cathedrals. 
that's how you can cut it. You can cut it just like that to mm-hmm. have it seen. Yeah. Cut it full that. It, it's up to you, to yeah. own imagination. Um, and again, you get five colors in downloads. Oh, that's a great yeah. idea. And you could have a fairy on the stairs or leading up to a castle. Well, all you need, somebody made it. Um, one of the ladies that I'm doing the cuts today, um, Rose, she's sitting on the staircase and there's a cat over here. Oh, lovely. Yeah, like she's sitting there and uh-huh. there's a cat sitting on the ledger on the spiral. Yeah. So it looks interesting. Um, these dies by Essential Studio Light, besides making the cut right in the middle and folding it, look what else for the people that you can Oh, a little journal. Yes. So just a quick journal, uh-huh. put some plastic around it, and that's it. Wow. And so, yeah, you've got the cover, die, and the pages as well. Exactly. And you can make as many as you like yeah. inside. Make it as a diary, and then it's easy to open. So it's easy, not just making cards. You can use it for other things. This is another one. I'm only showing you what came in the last week. Right. Just that what came in the last week. Yeah. See, this is another night. Um, and you can, this pedal on the end comes off. So you can use it on your own cards to make pedals, or you can use it if it is there. So, that, again, that's on our website. It's only $16. Mm-hmm. Uh, prices you find us very, very reasonable. Another one by Stephanie Signature, Mary and Child. That came, I was going to do for Christmas, but it came a bit late. So, I didn't have time. Um, more dyes by Essentials. Um, there's an interesting one here. See, we sell a lot of books as well that has all these pages, like 36 sheets. It's nine designs. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I did yesterday, very late, see, this is the die. It's an embossing folder Mm -hmm. and a die. Oh, okay. It cuts. So that's what it is. Oh, wow. Uh, What I've done is, I don't know if you can see the embossing there. Um, Yeah, we can just see it. Yeah. Or maybe you can see it better here. I did it a bit. See? Yeah, we can just see it. Yeah. If you do it, oh, there's on white. Can you see it on the white Um, there? Oh, yes, yeah. If you hold it more up at an angle. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Yep, now we can see that. Oh, yes, it's a beautiful stone and arch. Yep. And the door. Mm -hmm. But what I did here is I cut it out of the book. And just the door, and then you can put, I don't know, make your own thing. Yeah. You know, go in or go in the garden. Like make a cut like this. Actually, um, Cheryl made me a card um, to sell these dies that came in about six weeks ago, but I've misplaced it. I'm so organized that I can't find anything. So, sorry, Carol, I'll find it and I'll put it on the website maybe later. Yeah, well, that's amazing. I don't think I've ever seen a die with an embossing folder together. Well, we have a few, Michelle. There's um, three or four by Nelly uh-huh. and there's a few by Easy Craft or Craft Easy from uh, Winnie, uh, Silhouette Design. She's got some lovely ones as well. Uh-huh. And these are new words. By Studio Light, nice borders, butterflies. These are very nice too. You fold them over, mm-hmm. make it like a pocket. Yeah, it's a big pocket. You, I might play with them next week. Oh, and excellent. Yeah, I'd love to see those. Yes, yeah. So that that's also new. New. These are lovely. Oh, that's pretty. Yes. So go on our website, people. And these little books that have die cuts. Oh, excellent. And are, you, are they, do you press out or do you have to cut them with scissors? Yes, no, they're printed oh, already yep. and die cuts. Mm-hmm. Excellent. You just push them out. Mm-hmm. Even the alphabet. So you don't need to 
have this. Mm-hmm. You just like the die cut. So push them out. And this has been selling well. It's got the butterflies. They're $8, but you get so many books. And look, like today, I could have, if you don't have a butterfly die, not that we short on them, but look. Yeah. And then push it out of there. Mm-hmm. I have the thing, and you can shape them. But you get your um, folding tool. And you just shape them over. Yeah. See, now it looks a bit different, doesn't it? Yeah. So you play. So we've got quite a few. We've got papers. We've got um, for men. Don't forget them. All right. They're all die cut. See oh, excellent. Water themes. They're beautiful. Yes. Um, then we've got La Provence. Very, very nice. It gives you ideas on the back how you can do the cards. Mm. It's enough there. It's nine dollars, and you make at least six cards. Yeah. So and what, what, where are they from? What brand are they? Um, they're Studio Light. Studio Light. Okay. Yeah, they're on a site there for Studio Light or three D die cards. They're pretty colours. I mean, I love pink and blue, as you can see today. So it tells you again how it can make your cards, and mm-hmm. it's easy. And with too much time at the moment, all of us in isolation, I couldn't think of a better time. No, definitely. I love that idea. Yes. And we've got plenty of stock, ladies. So we're only an email away. And everything is on our webpage. I'll move them out, back in the boxes. Okay. We better do some work. Mm-hmm. I'll start with the vintage. You know, these ladies here. And we used our side stepper card. They're on our web page. Already die cut, built us all that. We've got about 28 designs or more in die cut in black, white, and cream. Oh, that makes card making so much simpler. Well, you don't need to buy the die. And you still got to buy the paper, even if you have the die. Mm. Um, and it's easier. So there we are. This is the car. And I'll reach out and get the things that I'm going to put in. See what I mean? I've, I will show you the matching. What I did is I have printed this from the Tarot Lace Plate CD mm-hmm. because I cannot color. And our expert teachers, they're in eyesight, so they can't come and help me. So I'm just looking for pictures and I download them and then I'll put them in to make a scene. Mm -hmm. So what I've done is I've cut these to fit um, the scene that I want to create. So I've cut that Mm -hmm. there. That to put there, that to put there, and then there. Mm-hmm. So what I'm going to do, it looks easy. And like I said, once you spread out and work out the theme, a matting, all right, I've cut a square, the bit that I want to go there, but see, it's too big. Mm-hmm. And now if you have a square die, or maybe not exactly square, this is more like a rectangle, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, you use our ruler to match. So I'll bring this over. Anyway, like I said, it's got two and five mil on one side, that side three mil, underneath is five. This side on top is three and a half and two and a half. Mm-hmm. Now, Robin likes very thin borders, so I'm going by what she does, and she does beautiful cards. I'm going two and a half in them. Mm-hmm. So what you do is I stack down the picture. You cut the first one in the size you want. Mm-hmm. Then you stick it and see, 
If you put that over, it stops it underneath from moving. Uh-huh. It's got a little edge. Mm-hmm. So there we are. I've got to get my Stanley knife. I hope it's sharp. All right. So just sit it there. And it, don't worry, it's on. That's on three. Sorry, Robin. You got to look at the number. All right. So that's. The two there. I think it's a two. Oops. No, I'm doing the three. Let's go. Okay. Done. Come back with that one there. This um, closer to the light. I don't know if you can see, ladies, but get closer. The ruler has a metal edge, so you don't cut anything. You didn't cut it straight, you just keep it there and keep cutting. This one was earlier. This one wasn't straight either before. I don't think I cut the first one straight, so let's go there. Now, I've got to put some tape behind this because I want to put it the purple as well. Mm-hmm. You don't need to go all out, just a little bit of thing if you like. Um, just a bit up on top there to secure it. Oh, I had a customer, she wanted to buy more of these double end tools, but I'm out of stock. Oh no. Um, and I've got. Oh, oh, I took that off before. Oh, I'm trying to lift it up again. Um, there. Let's move that up and I'll put another one. They're on the way, ladies. It just. The couriers, even though we fly everything in. Um, Australia Post is very, very slow in the customs. All right, so now, no, wrong size. Let me find a bit of purple. No, that's wrong. Sorry, that's the wrong purple size. Let me find the because it doesn't fit to cut out. Is it the right size? Okay. See, I put it there. Mm-hmm. And now we're going again two and a half. It stops. But the first, that's two and a half exactly. So, there we go. Let 
that we must have a little bit on this one. When I have there, where it stops, and then you've got your machine. So, what I've done is this is what I did last night with some tape. Sometimes when you have nails, it helps. Yeah. And again, I did this with the matching yesterday because I wanted to show the products today and I didn't want to keep everybody waiting to see that. Okay, let's see. This is my ivory bean. Okay, down. That's the next one. can put glue, but well, this one is going to be sitting up on top, so there's no reason to have that more tight there. So I'll just leave it on this one. Make sure this is in there. See, I tried to line up the balcony yeah it comes together very quickly yeah it just it helps so there we are and then see that's what I did there I shouldn't have done extra tape I should have come out okay I'm remove this too much tape. It's best if we put tape on the card mm. and what we're using. But like I said, I'm still learning. It's easier if I did it that way. step a card is that now because it's going to open up like this I've devised a way you get we all have bits of paper or cardstock fold it in half fold it back tape mm -hmm. and that way it doesn't spread open or, you know, it sits better mm. when you try and see if I'm going to sit it like this, look, mm -hmm. like it. So what I do is I put just a little bit higher up, push it back down, and now it can't open too much. Mm. This one, so I'm going to have to control this one a bit. So I did another one. Okay. So I'll just push it up a bit. See? Now it's not gonna go anywhere, look. Yeah, that's it a great tip. Yeah, I just 
put, mm, how we're going to do this. So I'm going to put our ladies up, which I've die cut. Rich. This one. I had what well, she is. Right, well, we've got Rose and Lily. So I like to put the one that's sitting down first and position her so I'm not using much glue today. I think the tape is easier. So you come. Yeah, let us see a bit. Right. Mm -hmm. Now you get three Ds as well. So the other pieces, I put some foam squares on them. So she's there, and her arm, so then you get some dimension, mm -hmm. same with the friend. I'm just going to let it, because she's a taller of the two, she can just be that way. And again, her face and arm. many legs. There they are. Now, I like to give it some depth and give it some glossy accents. So tell us a bit right. about glossy accents. What's that? They give you dimension and they give you a nice clear finish on um, your cards, especially on the card. Now, this is dried up because I left it dry. But it should work. I might have to get a different one. It was working the other day. No, it does. Okay, you'll see it gives you a glossy finish. That's why it's called glossy accents, but it's got a 3D effect. It gives you a dimension as well. Right? Like, I don't know if you can see it on her arm. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to see. Yeah, um, most of the craft is no. It, like I said, it just gives it that little varnish or oh, finish I can just put her tiny blouse on I don't know if you can see it there maybe you can see it more on this see yeah and it's so dry. Just a, a clear glue that's quite thick so it will dry standing up sort of with a raised finish that's too light it gives you that well the um, Stickles, it doesn't give you dimension that much. Mm. You know, that's a different color, but it doesn't give you the dimension that the glossy accent will. So 
there or so, vintage card. Excellent. With other ladies. Um, just to show you how the rulers work, this Bora ruler. I've cut some yesterday, all right? Just that little square there, and it's two and a half wide. I just want it with the borders at two and a half. So there we are, two and a half here. You've got to see it. So I'll put it in different colors so you can see now. See, mm -hmm. it stays, doesn't move. Get your knife. Um, Oh, yeah, that makes it much easier for making a border. Yeah. So. Where am I? I'm flipping. See, it just sits there. It will not move. You just need a sharper knife. Okay. So you want it on, okay, you want to do another layer. So again, it's cut, peel. See, I could never think do things straight. So mm -hmm. there you are again. It stops on the last one. See, it's not moving. Right. So one, I think this knife cuts when it wants to cut. Two. See, it moved on the first one. So you just have to be careful because now I've got this on this side too. There. See, there I moved it, so I just have to go back. Wow, that's very clever. Yeah, so I did it on this. Just cut any shape you like. That's a five mil difference. Mm -hmm. That's a two and a half. Um, there's a three mil. Like, all you got to do is just put it there, mm -hmm. just stick it down. Because, like I said, I could never see straight. So, there you are. So, you want to do a five mil. Just look for the five. You gotta look at the it's gotta look at you, the number. Mm -hmm. So there. See, it won't move. Straight. I'm cutting very thick cut here. All right, there's a five mil. Again, stop. Jeanette is usually very good in showing people I can't teach. Oh, you're um, doing a fine job, Mary. Okay, so there's your five mil border. You can measure. I've got it on. Five exactly, for those I can see. Yeah. Five exactly. And you keep building up. I mean, you can put um, another black. I can't put it on down here. I don't have a big enough bit of paper. But all you got to do is glue it down. It's not even, but here we go. Again, five. Five. Ah, excellent, excellent. Now, did you have another card to show us, Mary? Yes, I better stop because I'm getting carried away. Okay, <laughs> this one I better clean up and put the knives away. Okay. Next card, like I said, it's magazine number 69 and it's this. So There is 
things of die cut. And because you have the two pieces, I've cut a plain one. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to put that over it. Okay. To make this one. And I like to shape things. My tool. And you need to cut it out a bit. My scissors. I did cut some. Because carrot lace is very intricate dyes, see here the leaves come out if you want to. So you get your fuzzy scissors, see you cut it out. And you give it different dimension. It's not going anywhere, look. These are the leaves. Yeah, it gives you so I much flexibility. It does. Um, just got to find, cut around. Okay. So you cut the leaves around like that. And this is what I did one earlier. I've cut the leaves, just the leaves, pop them out. In here. And Mary, Wendy was just asking how much is each edition of the Tattered Lace magazine? Um, the, later one, the later issues are $28 or $29 mm-hmm. and some are on sale as low as 15 Right. And that includes postage. Mm -hmm. So this is one I did earlier. I've done that as well. So I'll show you how I would like to give you dimension. A foam pad, which we sell, and with the end of your um, shaping tool, Press it down. When you push it out of there, you can also go this way. But I want to give it a pop them out. And now it's that way, that in the middle, and back. By pressing down on the form, you break the fibers of the paper. See? I don't know if you can see it there. It's popped out. Yeah. You can just see the light glinting off it. Mm -hmm. Now, my trusty glue sheets, because I'm not going to glue it one little (laughs) all around. So these things last forever, by the way. I'm just going to do it a little bit different. I'm not going to glue the middle because then it's going to be flat. So only put glue on the edge. Believe me, it's not going to go anywhere. All right, so just put your glue sheets there. And now you've got enough glue to put down there. And try not to glue the middle so it pops. And you see like it's popping up. Yeah. Okay, so that's one part done. I've cut the square with the the pink, and I die cut again with the same heart, the die, mm-hmm. with, the, with the thing. So foam on the back, I want to give it some depth. So the foam rolls, I think they're 15 meters. 
sorry, they're five and a half meters, six mil wide, and two mil thick. They're all there on our website. You can just go and pull out as much as you like instead of the foam strips. So center this one, it's square, so there we go. I used a square card, which is 150 square, just a, put that down. And so Mary Lynn was just asking what the glue paper is. The glue sheets, mm. um, it's on our webpage. Oh. I have it here. Yeah. I'll show you the page. It's called Glue Sheets by Cut Deco, and the item number is CDEGS001. It's two sheets A5 in the packet, and like I said before, all you've got to do is lift and put it back when you finish. It's got a whole glue specs there, and you keep using up and using this for a long time. Yeah, and it's great for your die cut, so the glue goes on just to where the paper is and makes it much easier to stick on. Thanks, and now I don't have to get glue all over my hands. And especially for the fine intricate... Okay, now this one again, just a bit of a border. Okay, take this down. You can use glue here, but the tape is right next to me now. Yeah, we need to be really careful as we use glue in card making because if our card stock's too thin, then it tends to buckle it. So double-sided tape's a great yeah. option, although it's very unforgiving, so you've got one chance to get it down straight. Right. It's always a good idea to check which way your card opens before you put it. <laughs> oh, boy. Believe me, I've done that so many times. So I've got this, and I like to give it maybe some dimension as well. So this is that way. There we are, maybe center, a bit of center here. Okay. And this is our card, our oh, pearls. Pearls, pearls. And and our greetings. Back to the thing. Our blue sheets. Use some tweezers because this would be a bit harder to get out. I should get from the beginning. I've done this a million times. All right, get it on your tweezers, position it where you want to. Maybe. 
that way. Oh. Now we'll get some pearls. And Mary, have you got pearls in different sizes and different colours as well? I do. I just have to make sure it's they're activated on their website. Mm -hmm. because yeah, there's such an easy way to add a bit of interest to the card. Yeah. It does. I like pearls. We even have pearl drops, which is um, comes in a tube in ten different colours. So you just drop them. I'm using my hands, not pieces here. So Tracy was just asking if the glue sheets are reusable. Um, well, once you run out of glue, you run out of glue. But, yeah, you, I reuse them as in until they don't stick anymore. Yeah, so you can sort of keep using them for quite a few times and then eventually yes. all the glue will be transferred. That's right. But the idea is when you see now the glue that you lifted on there, mm. it's not there anymore. But when you put it back, your idea is to cover it back so it doesn't dry. Mm. Because, like we all know, air and oxygen will dry anything. Mm -hmm. um, so don't give it too much air. And Elvis asked for some mail cards, so perhaps we can work on that for another time. Yes. I'm just learning, so please give me a break, ladies. Oh, no. No, I'll be mail cards. <laughs> uh, I don't know about next week. I'm expecting some nice new deliveries. Oh, and I don't know. So I'll, yeah, thanks for the thing. So there's the card. You can use bigger and smaller. Yeah. So this is the thing there. Uh, and now an uh, interesting one. That This is, um, where is it? No, I lost. Let me put it away. That's what happens when you have a nice creative mess. <laughs> Didn't I show you earlier? Yes, you did. Hmm. Well, while I'm looking for that, that, honestly, where did it go? I have it in oh, there it is. It's this one. So I'll show you them later. Mm -hmm. All right, this is all about the fold. So don't panic, it's not that hard. So we need a scoring board. And some A4 paper. So I've chosen to do pink. Put it on your scoring board. Get your ruler or measure up there. A hundred mil down or four inches in the old way. So that's 295, the length of the or 297. I go to 195 and score. Okay. Then turn it around and that's 210 wide, the A4. So you go to 105, halfway, and score. Fold both ways. You don't need to try to make this hard when you fold it. So once it's folded in half, leave it up there, one inch from the four inch line down, which is 25 mil. And if you want a ruler, just do it yourself. It's sitting about 170. Don't draw a line, just a little bit. I shouldn't have been driving the line there. Just mark it. I'll mark it with a pencil. All right, and then seven inches or 170 from the beginning of the tape, you, of the page, mark it. So that's 170 and that's 170 that way. Mm -hmm. right. And 170 from opposite ways. Right. Draw the line. I have to draw the line because otherwise I might not have it straight. Okay. You done that, then you fold on the line. 
that you drew on an angle. Mm -hmm. Right? We've done these cutting classes, which Cheryl did in classes many, many years ago, but it came back to me the other day. Um, so you fold, just make sure your creases are nice and sharp. Okay? Now the challenge is how do you fold it to make it like this? See? It's like that. Mm -hmm. So you lift up, fold, and this has to come up, this bit. Where you did there, and fold that down. Mm -hmm. Can you see it now, yes, how it's folded? We can see that. Yeah, so create two mountain belly folds. Yep. Oh, and then the top bit just comes up. Excellent. Okay, so four inches, one inch, and the seven inch each way. Mm -hmm. And then that's it. Ah, that is very clever. Okay, so that's how easy it is. If anybody is struggling and they wish to wear, I'm happy to make it as a sample and put it in the mail. Uh -huh. well, well, that way, once you have it, it's easy to play. Yeah. It, it, there's not easy to play. Okay, so that's that one. That's how we fold it. So... To make the card, I've cut the Nellies um, Eastern Oval. Mm -hmm. It's a layer dice, but this is only the main one, number one. A, it's called A. So I've cut it, but because I want to put it there, I need to cut it because I don't want it to move over. So this one I've cut earlier. Okay. Yes, it might take a bit of trial and error, but you want to make sure that it sits under those folds. Yes, So we can use our glue sheets. This one is a bit old, so I'm just going to have to put it in there. And this is a few months old, truly. So out. You lift it up. And try not to put your fingers on all over it because you get glue all over your fingers. See, it's done. So now you position it. Magic. It's on there. Okay. Now, because I want to do the same, I didn't want to use a different die for the top, even though you can use anything you want to. Okay. I've cut this, but I've cut a little bit off. I've just cut it square to finish up there. Uh -huh. So what I did is I've cut a bit of the paper and we use this metallic Satin shimmer. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, we've got quite a few. We've got four different designs, and there's four sheets in a packet. There's hearts, there's circles, and there's stripes. But once you die cut, they all look the same, unless you want to use it as full sheets. Mm. So I needed to give it some life. So that's what the sheets I've used there. So I've cut a bit of a strip, so I can make the square just here. So I sealed it there. Again, back to my sheets. It's still sticky. And that's probably the first one I did, you know, a dozen classes ago. So, up. Blue finish. So it's best that you open the card so you can just register everything. See, so that's a bit out. Okay. So when it's folded back, there it is. Mm -hmm. Now, okay. 
I did not want to use this. I'll just get another. And how are we going, Mary? Are we nearly finished? Yes. Sorry. Sorry, ladies. All right. I did another one like this. Mm -hmm. And again, back in here. There. can put warm wishes mm -hmm. if you want to. Again, back on the glue sheets. Nice and quick. Excellent. So this is, yeah, you can put pearls if you like, like I put some pearls here, or you can put anything you want to. Mm -hmm. And that is our three cards, ladies. Fantastic. We've had an absolute card bonanza. I think we've overstayed our welcome in showing everything. I'm sorry. No, but we've seen lots of things today. So these are the, our three cards that we did today. And I hope you ladies have fun. Mm -hmm. We have a special again, um, which is a 20% that we offer to all our card girls. Just use the same code. P to P20, and you get 20% off, except the sale uh, items, which are already half price off. Yeah. Um, you post each. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry for giving you all this time. But no, yeah. that's okay. okay. I'll let you get your camera back up. Fantastic. <laughs> so wasn't that amazing? Not only did we see three fantastic cards, but also well and truly how to use a die cutter and some of the other ones as well. So Mary, thank you so much for showing all that with us today. <laughs> thank you, Michelle. That was... And so thank you, everybody watching. Yeah, that was but, just amazing. Okay. I think it's great to go back through the basics of die cutting because sometimes we forget that there are new people here as well. So it's great to get over all those details. Thank you, and have a lovely weekend, everyone, Excellent. and I'll see you next Saturday. Yep, so Craft Zone. Maybe create a men's card as well. Yeah, yeah. so craftzone.com.au and code P2P20 for that discount. Thank you. Excellent. Thanks, Mary. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that demonstration. Like we said, for those of you that are just getting started, that was a really good explanation on die cutting, um, a really good way of seeing a variety of the different dies that Craft Zone's got online, and as well, just three fantastic cards, again, looking so detailed, but when you break it down and step it through, it's just really amazing how you can put that together. So I hope you enjoyed today with Peter p Craft Present Craft Zone. Now, of course, to see the replay, plus all the links to all of the dies that we used, head over to our website from picture to page and beyond.com au where we'll have all the links and send you straight to the craft zone website and why that make sure you sign up to our email list so this is michelle brown signing off we hope you have a crafty day